Greetings! In this video, we are going to be playing a little game I invented called Saw Roulette. What is Saw Roulette? Well, I'm so glad you asked. See, we have two wheels that I've created. One will determine what saw trap I'm going to draw. The second, which cartoon character is going to suffer the fate of that trap. But before we get started, my name is John and welcome to the Norman Zone, the zone where we talk horror, cartoons, art, and really anything that I find fun. So let's spin the wheels and see what happens. All right, first wheel, let's go. And it looks like it's the reverse bear trap. All right, I have never drawn this trap. I've actually never drawn any of these traps, which is why I chose them. This is gonna be fun. Now let's see who suffers the fate. Okay, and it is... Crap! Oh, fuck. Okay, I thought it was gonna be Rick for a second. First video is going to be Stewie Griffin in the reverse bear trap. This should be fun. So yeah, let's get started, see how this comes out. Oh yeah, I do have one other thing before we get started. Um, let's roll the intro. So just starting off, I'm gonna sketch in Krita. I think that's how you pronounce it, Krita. I hate saying the name of it. It sounds like I'm saying it with like some accent that I, I wouldn't even know what accent, but Krita. I always wanna say Critter. So anyways, back to the fucking drawing. Start off obviously by drawing Stewie's head. This proportion is actually kind of hard. I did a few sketches like on my way to work to uh, just kind of get down how his football shaped head is because if you don't get it right it just doesn't look like him or it looks like the very old like the first season of him uh, reverse bear trap I you know obviously looked at some pictures because there is details that you just want but you don't want to put too much detail and I didn't want to put too much detail. This isn't a how to draw video. It's just a fun fucking video. So uh, I tried to uh, put enough detail. So obviously you can tell it's the reverse bear trap and it just doesn't feel cheap, but not too much where it is out of place with a cartoon character wearing it. So, you know, I, I, there's a fine balance. And I did look at multiple pictures of Stewie to kind of get an idea. Now, my, I, I looked at a few different ideas. Sorry if you can hear the fucking fan. I did like have a few different ideas, different angles on uh, how I wanted to draw this, but they, like have it completely open, like basically replicating Jill's experience, but it didn't look like Stewie. And the whole point is to see, to be able to tell that this cartoon character is in the trap, right? So I kind of went against that and went with more of the uh, Amanda's kind of expression. A lot like what I did with Morty. You know, you can tell it's Morty underneath the mask. Uh, and I just thought this would be fun to do, like show the speed drawing process and obviously hear my sexy ass voice while drawing it. So yeah, obviously you can tell my line work needs some improvement. This is like my first fucking week or second week using this tablet when I have the time. Um, fun fact, I actually found this tablet at a St. Vincent. I don't know if they have St. Vincent's everywhere, but it's, it's like a Goodwill. So a thrift store and it was like 60 bucks and then they had they just happened to have like a half off on that 
particular color that it was priced. So I got the tablet brand new, still in the box, still everything like I checked it out for like 30, 32 bucks or something like that. So I was extremely excited because I've really been wanting to get one and it was just kind of like perfect timing. So I've been having fun with this, learning the process, learning everything. I need to speed this shit up though. I need to learn how to, uh, how to use those shortcuts. So I've been trying to, again, doing that, you know, not wasting any time whenever I have free time on the bus or early mornings and I have nothing to do. I'll just watch videos, which God, how lucky are we that we can watch fucking videos and really educate ourselves on shit when we have free time. Yeah, you can see I'm just coloring it out, just making different layers, make a sketch layer. And then once you delete that, you can see it, it looks pretty fucking cool. It reminds me of when, uh, when I'm drawing on paper and then I, when I ink it and then I'll erase all the sketches uh, if you're an artist you get what i mean and, and then it just looks so fucking clean and uh, to me that's my, one of my favorite parts when drawing i don't know why it's paused oh okay yeah no this commentary is super fucking cool I bet everyone's you know, just ecstatic about it put in a little bit of shading you know just trying to touch it up make it look nicer felt like you know might as might as well I, i'm not the best at coloring i color like a fucking fourth grader but the secret is be be a really good colorer when you're a fourth grader and then you can just keep that skill for life colorer is i don't fucking know it doesn't sound right but i'm, I'm gonna keep saying it so yeah i added a little bit of that rust just jesus strong tea there Added some rust, make it just kind of, kind of different, and add a little bit to it. Make sure to keep the stewy colors. I'm running out of shit to say, as you can tell, but whatever. If you've made it this far, I can't imagine. It's almost over. <laughs> so, hopefully, you're you're having fun with me here. If it's looking a little glitchy, it's because I sped this up like a motherfucker. Like, I had to really speed this up. This took way too fucking long. Not to say I won't do it again. But you can basically see what's there. And if you're at this point, I'm just going to tell you, yeah, I did animate it. I, I felt like, you know what, this is cool. This is awesome. But if somebody's going to stick around to, one, listen to me ramble... Um, and and just kind of have fun with this drawing idea. I figured, you know, I should probably probably reward it at the end. So here's the end. This is the end progress process. Here you go. Ah, nice. All right, this was fun. Um, hopefully, my commentary will get better. Uh, it's very early in the morning, but hey, we made it. And this was actually a really fun process. I was not expecting Stewie. I was kind of worried about Stewie being in the reverse bear trap because his head shape is so weird. There's probably like every other character probably would have been easier, but that's part of the fun of this little experiment, right? Is I don't want to just make it easy on myself. So honestly, this was probably the, the best first experience because it's stewy and it's the reverse bear trap so it, it feels appropriate anyways if you like this kind of content and you want to see more you know do, do the youtube shit like comment subscribe click a button that makes you feel happy and as always thank you